how to solve the development of lateral surfaces by using AutoCAD's software. First, we will go to AutoCAD screen, switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Time command is limits. Go to specify lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner 297,210 and then say zoom all. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point and click on first button of the mouse and take drag the mouse to the right side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse and take the cursor to the top side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. And then go to offset, take the distance as 297, select object to offset, select this vertical line and offset to the left side and go to offset, take the distance as 210, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side, then go to zoom extends, zoom point 6x, then go to fillet, select between this vertical line and this horizontal line, select this horizontal vertical line and this horizontal line, then go to select between these two, then go to zoom window, select, go to detect, uh, specify start point, select some point, take the height as 4 and the rotation angle as 0, type the problem number 200, then go to the inside of a hopper, hopper, of a floor mill is to be lined with thin sheet. The top and bottom of the hopper are regular pentagon pentagons with each side equal to 30 mm and 22.5 mm respectively the height of the upper upper is 30 mm full stop then uh, draw the shape of the sheet to which uh, it is to be cut so as so as to fit into the hopper and go to zoom previous and go to polygon so here first we go for a polygon command go to layer then go to layer click on new type the layer by name xy then uh, click on new type the layer by name axis click on new type the layer by name views now here go to line weight layer 0 will have 0.05 xy line line weight will be 0.13 axis line will going to have a line weight 0.05 and then views will going to have the line weight as 0.5 and go to ok then axis line line type will going to have load click on center click on center and say ok now we are going to close this <clears throat> then go to polygon select the number of sides as 5 take the edge option so select this edge and take it as uh, 30 then again go to line take int of this take perpendicular to this and go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to polygon select the number of sides as 5 take edge first endpoint of edge take 22.5 then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then fillet between these two then go to move select this move intersection point of this to intersection point of this then go to erase erase this then go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this then go to line take int of this take intersection point of this then uh, go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this then go to break select this first point int of this and say at the rate and break first point int of this and say at the rate now we will go for these two select this line and select this line 
and select this line this line and this line then go to ch and go to layer click on views and then switch on the mode then go to line so here to so take this line as the extreme line so go to offset take the distance as 30 then select this and take it down then go to move select some distance and move it down then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw a vertical line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this and then say int of this then go to int of this take int of this then go to line take int of this take intersection part of this then go to fillet between these two fillet between these two then go to break select this break this line till here and break this line till here then uh, we have um, go to fillet then go to extend extend this line till here and extend this line till here then here then go to move so here it will come down to this point then go to break first point take a entry of this and say the rate then here uh, break select this point and break this still here now we will go for break break this line till here first point int of this and say at the rate then break first point int of this and say at the rate now here you just click on break select this line first point int of this and say at the rate then break first point int of this and say at the rate now here you click on this you click on this click on this you click on this and click on this go to layer make this layer as views once you do that then we will have the next portions which are all the things which you need to do so to do that so first we need to have ddim go to modify go to primary units precision you make it up to second decimal point text you make it as uh, four then align with the dimension line center becomes above take the distance as three symbols and arrow size take the arrow size as four lines offset from the origin as three say okay and then say close then dim aligned take the int of this take intersection part of this so we're going to get it as 122.68 then again go to line take int of this and take int of this and you will go to get it as 92.01 you just click on this and then go to dim vertical take int of this and take intersection part of this so this dimension is go to text like 30 then you select this and place it similarly zoom previous then go to zoom window then go to dim vertical select this line you take it as 22.50 then you just click on this uh, you take this dimension which will going to be text 30 and say okay then go to zoom previous then here you just draw a line you take this line and take this horizontal line go to circle take a end, uh, circle take endpoint of this and take the radius as uh, 122.68 then draw a circle then go to circle take the int of this and take the radius as 30 similarly circle int of this take the radius 30 similarly int of this radius 30 then take intersection part of this take rest then take int of this take the radius as 50 1 2 3 4 to zoom window then go to zoom window select this 
then we go to break break the it break the circle in counterclockwise direction then erase then go to break select this circle and break it till here and select this circle and break it till here then go to erase this then go to break select this break it till here and select this and break this till here then go to break select this and break it here then break select this and break this till here and select this and break this till here then erase then you break this till here similarly break this line till here once you do that then go to line take int of this and take int of this and take intersection part of this take intersection part of this and take int of this and take int of this and take end part of this and take int of this then trim between these two then trim between these two then go to line take int of this take int of this and take intersection part of this and take int of this and take int of this then go to circle take int of this take the radius as 92.01 then go to trim trim this between these two and trim this here then go to line take int of this and take intersection part of this and take int 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 of this once you get this then you just go to break first point take int of this and say at the red then break first point take int of this and say at the red then break first point int of this and say at the red then break first point int of this and say at the red then break first point int of this and say at the red then break first point int of this and say at the red then you just click on this then 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 you select this you select this so we have all the five lines here then you take this then you select this then you select this then you select this and go to layer click on views so once you do that then go to zoom previous then you just click on this and you click on this and go to layer mark this layer as xy then go to zoom window select this and you move this and you take this entire thing and move it here and keep it here then go to d text so here you mark this as capital x you mark this as capital y then vp then hp then here you mark this as a b sorry here a then b then c then d then e and here you mark this as one two three four five and then one and here you mark this as development and here it is capital o then here you mark this as a dash sorry you mark this as a you mark this as b c d e and here o here o1 in bracket here uh, uh, a dash here b dash here it is c dash here it is d dash in bracket here it is e dash in bracket here it is o dash in bracket here it is uh, o1 dash o1 o1 dash in bracket here it is 1 dash here it is 2 dash here it is 3 dash here it is 4 dash here it is 5 dash in bracket then here 1 here it is 2 here it is 3 here it is 4 here it is 5 and uh, this is how you will be able to get this then go to zoom previous then go to zoom window select this then go to move 
you uh, erase this line, erase this text, then go remove, take a dash, and here it is e dash, here it is o dash, here it is b dash, here it is d dash, here it is c dash, here it is x, here it is vp, here it is hp, then here it is y, and uh, here it is new, you make it as one dash, here it is five dash, here it is one dash, o one dash, here it is two dash, here it is four dash, here it is three dash, then you select this line, go to layer, make this as axis, and type it as 10, then go to zoom previous, then go to zoom window, here you make this as move, take this as A, and you take this as B, you take this as C, you take this as D, and you take it as E, and here you take it as 1, here you take it as 5, here it is take it as 4, here you take it as 1, here you take it as 1, here it is 2, here it is 3, here it is 4, then you go to zoom previous, then go to zoom window, then go to dim aligned, select this line, offset this as a uh, text 30, we get as this, then dim, uh, then uh, here dim aligned, select this line, so here you take this text type 30, select this and place it wherever you want, then go to move, select A, then you select B, then you select C, then you select D, then you select E, then A, then dim aligned, select this line, and take it as 22.50, then go to move, select 1, then you select 5, then you select 4, then go to development, keep it here, then go to move, 3, then 2, then 1. So this is how, then go to O and place it here, then go to zoom previous, then go to dim aligned, sorry, dim horizontal, you take this line, take this, 22.01, then from here, dim horizontal, dim horizontal, take INT of this, and take intersection part of this, and you are going to get it as 22.68. So this is how you will be able to create this drawing by using AutoCAD software. Then go to save, go to the appropriate drive, then go to AutoCAD, go to develop and drawing, type capital P200 and save, and finally you exit the AutoCAD screen.